Hey everyone, James Park here. Just wanted to share with you about a recent time I was out on the street sharing the gospel. Um, a team of us, we go out into the streets in Kitchener every Monday and Wednesdays. And this recent time, I was able to meet with a young lady and uh, share my testimony and share the gospel with her and we led her to Jesus. And so I just wanted to share with you about that. Um, it's not rocket science. It's not for super Christians. Anybody can do it. And uh, I want to share with you a tool that helped me do this. Um, because oftentimes it's like we think about, you know, what are we going to say? How do we say it? How do we share our story? How do we share the gospel? And it can be quite simple, actually. And this tool that I want to show you really helped me to be able to share my story really quickly and in a concise way uh, and able to grab this person's attention and uh, exalt Jesus and be able to share the gospel with this person. So uh, this tool is called My Story, God's Story. And so the first thing is my story. There was a time in my life when I was addicted to drugs and suicidal. But then one day I was at a coffee shop and this homeless man came up to me and he shared the gospel with me. And in that moment, I knew I needed to give my life to Jesus. And so he led me to Jesus Christ and I accepted him and I'm so glad I did because he changed my life. I am now no longer addicted to drugs and I am filled with joy and peace. Do you have a story like that? Now, that is called the 15 second testimony. And it's, it's a tool designed to help you share your story in a concise way. Now, it doesn't always have to be just 15 seconds, but um, the, the idea is to keep it short and concise and to the point. And so it starts with, there was a time in my life. Right? So think about a time in your life before Jesus. What are two things that you can describe about that time? You know, some might say, you know, I was lonely and depressed or I had despair and dark thoughts or whatever it might be for you. Uh, think of two things that you can write down um, that describe your life before Jesus. Now, some people might say, you know, I don't remember a time in my life before Jesus. Like I've been a, a follower of Jesus, um, I think, my whole life. And so for those of you who may uh, feel that way, I would say, you know what? Surely there was a time in your life when you went through some sort of a hardship, some sort of a difficult season. Maybe it was a wilderness. Maybe, you know, there was a time where you needed provision for something. Whatever it might be, uh, think of that time. You know, there was a time in my life when I was uh, filled with doubt and I felt hopeless. But then, how did Jesus meet you in that time of need? Right? And so that's the next part of the 15 second testimony. How did Jesus change your life. And so for me, it was a homeless man came up to me while I was at a coffee shop and shared the gospel. That was the turning point. That was the Jesus moment. So when was the Jesus moment for you? And describe that in one statement, right? And then, now, how did that change? How did that Jesus moment change you? And write two things that changed. Um, so again, for me, uh, there was a time when I was addicted to drugs and I was um, suicidal. I came to know Jesus Christ through a homeless man sharing the gospel with me. And now I am a new creation. And I'm filled with peace. Right? And then you, you end it with, do you have a story like that? Right? And that brings that back onto the, to the person now. Do you have a story like that? And that helps you engage with them. And then depending on how they answer that, you can then transition from my story to God's story. Alright, so for this next tool, we are going to look at God's story. And this tool is called the Three Circles. So it's sharing the gospel with three circles. And so here's the first circle. Now I'm sure if you look on the news, outside in the world, maybe even in your family life, your neighborhood, your community, you can all, we can all agree that this world is broken. We see evidence of brokenness 
everywhere. We hear stories of murder and suicide, drug addiction, families being torn apart, um, COVID, all these things point to the fact that we live in a broken world. Um, but you see, it wasn't always designed to be that way. Because there's this thing inside each and every human, uh, a desire for a better world, a restored world, a world filled with love and joy and peace. We all want that. That's what we're searching for. And the reason for that is because that's how God originally designed it to be. God's original design was for uh, all of creation and humanity to live in perfect harmony, perfect love, perfect joy, perfect peace with God and with one another. But you see, things changed and the, and the way it came about was that when God created human beings, He gave them free will to choose Him. Because true love is true when there's a choice, right? And so He gave humans free will to choose to love God and love each other. And what uh, mankind did was choose to do things their own way. And the Bible calls that sin. And that is what brought about the broken state of this world. Everyone is wanting to do things their own way now. And that, we bump into each other. There's conflict. There's problems. It's broken. And so we are now thrust into this broken world. And we're seemingly stuck because every effort we try to escape it, it doesn't work. And we try to escape it in different ways. Some people, they say, you know, if I make enough money, then I'll escape brokenness. And so they try to co climb the corporate ladder, make as much money as they can. But I'm sure you, you would know there are people, celebrities, uh, famous, like wealthy people who have all, their, all the riches of this world, yet they are still broken. Some people, they want to try to escape brokenness through good deeds. They do like as many things as they can to be good, but all their efforts, it just doesn't seem to work. They are still stuck in brokenness. Some people, they, they think, you know what, relationships, if I could just get married, if I could just um, have a lot of partners, then I'll escape brokenness, but it doesn't seem to work. And then still others, they're like, you know what, alcohol, drugs, um, that is their escape, trying to escape brokenness. But all these efforts, they don't work. They snap us back into brokenness. And humanity is stuck in this state. But you see, God loves us so much that He doesn't want us to stay in this state of brokenness. And so He made a way out. That's a little door. He made a way out. And here's the third circle now. God sent Jesus Christ, His one and only Son, to the earth. Jesus was without sin. He lived a perfect life. He was in perfect unity with God the Father, and He showed us the way to the Father. Now Jesus, He was crucified. He died on the cross. He was nailed to a cross, taking upon the sin of the world upon Himself. And He died and He was buried, and then three days later He rose again being victorious over sin and death, being victorious over the broken state of this world. And so now, for us, if we choose to turn, and the Bible calls it repent. Repent means to turn. If we choose to turn to Jesus, turn away from the broken things of this world, turn away from all the efforts that we try to escape brokenness, and we turn to Jesus, and make Him the King of our lives, then He will restore us back into God's original design. And so, where do you see yourself? Do you see yourself here in brokenness, or do you see yourself here in God's perfect design? Now, when we were on the streets in Kitchener, I was able to share my story with a young lady named Christine, and she was listening to my story and we connected because she was struggling with addictions and she actually wanted prayer to be set free from her addiction and so that's when I, I jumped on that and I was like listen God set me free from addictions there was a time in my life when I was addicted to drugs and so when I was sharing my testimony she was like a very attentive listening to everything I was saying 
And then from there, I was able to transition uh, to God's story. And I shared uh, the three circles with her. And I was like, where do you see yourself? Do you see yourself in brokenness or do you see yourself in God's restored uh, perfect design? And she was like, well, I'm in brokenness. And I was like, well, what's stopping you from uh, turning to Jesus right now? And she's like, nothing's stopping me. I want to know Jesus. And so our team was able to lead this uh, young woman on the streets of Kitchener to Jesus Christ. <clears throat> and it was these tools that helped us uh, to be able to do that in a concise way, um, yet in a powerful way to lead someone from where they are to where God wants them to be. And so that is the My Story, God's Story tool. I hope this helps you as you uh, seek to fulfill the Great Commission and lead others to Jesus Christ.